Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We are on Arch Merged 6.4.1. This is GNOME, but a tweaked GNOME, of course, obviously, I tweak everything. So you have here all these icons from Surfing, by the way, that's what we're using. It says here somewhere, I think Surfing Papyrus Blue is the one we're using. And this tutorial is not about tweaking. Well, maybe it is. We're going to talk about LightDM and we're going to talk about MDM and GDM and all these things. So in all our Arch Merge scripts, we use LightDM and you might wonder why. So Arch Wiki Display Manager, that's the word you need to Google. A display manager, what is this thing? A display manager or a login manager is typically a graphical user interface displayed at the end of the boot process in place of the default shell. There are various implementations, window managers, uh, and desktop environments. So, it's a, when you come on your system, always do auto login. But if you don't do auto login, then that's the thing you get. So, the display manager or the login manager, and then you move along to the desktop itself. Okay, so these can be followed here as well. Now, there is a list of display managers, so there, in Linux we have a choice. That's what I said also on Destination Linux, on the interview. Don't take this choice for granted. So, when you install a distro, an ISO from somebody, they make the decision themselves. You can now decide yourself, what do I want to have? Never try to console uh, display managers here, but we have here the GNOME, which is the GDM. So if people provide you with Arch Merged GNOME, they assume they will get GDM. It's not necessary to have a display manager of GDM, but yes, we can, and that's what we're gonna do. But there is also LightDM. So we've been using LightDM for all desktop environments, which is, I think, most interesting for us and for you. So it's one and the same uh, display manager in all the desktops. So that's something you don't have to learn anymore. There is LXDM, there is SDDM, there is XDM. So a lot of things you can hear, um, you can try out. So and it says here what to do. So I'm going to make this one tutorial about uh, GDM. And if you want to try out others, it's just the same procedure as described here. Okay, so let's move that there. And let's get our wallpaper improved, that's better. So what do we need to do if we want to install GDM? Okay, we let's maybe open a new tab because we're go following, going to follow this one. If you want to install GDM, the GNOME Display Manager, manages graphical display servers, handles graphical user login. Okay, uh, we have to do something. GDM can be installed with a GDM package. Fine. Okay, you say let's have a terminal. Let's install it. So, sudo pacman minus s. And then it says here, installed with a GDM package. So, GDM. And then we install it. Seems I have already GDM on my system, as you can see, reinstalling. And then uh, it is installed as part of the GNOME group. So yeah, probably it has been uh, added there, but it's not active then. Okay. To start GDM at boot time, enable GDM service. Hmm. Now, better type sudo or else it'll give you a pop-up, but it doesn't matter. I rather keep it uh, in the terminal. This demand for the root password. So sudo system control, and you're gonna enable something. So if you press tab, it knows enable. And if you press tab and tab again, these are all the services you could enable and it's alphabetically. So we could go and have a look for GDM somewhere in there. Here it is, GDM service. But if you're looking for something else, Samba service, I don't know, Dropbox service. So everything is in here, things that are going to start at the boot. So yeah, enable me GDM service, enter, enter. Fail to enable because there is already a display manager service 
available. Now we can force him to do it because LightDM is active. LightDM is the one responsible for the boot. Now I'm going to say, no, forget about it. I'm going to force you to change and the display manager service is removed and we got a new symlink. So it's uh, interesting to check out these folders. So in the system D, the daemon, in the system folder display manager servers, there is a link to somewhere else, to the user lib system D system GDM service. So we made a symbolic link to a place in the protected part of a system. All right, is this it? Yes, we've enabled it. Um, starting it has no meaning this is not samba or anything so we really really need to log out and log in but let's see if we did everything right here so gdm um, to start we've done this line here starting to start gdm and boot enable gdm service and there's a particular thing we have to do minus f to force it and all the rest is maybe a login screen background rounds images those things can be checked out later so we're gonna see if we have something well let's restart this is a virtual box machine so i can record and there we have it this is something new what do we get we get a date calendar we get high contrast soon large text a lot of things to help us we got sound wired connects can't click here we can shut it down and that's it because these three things are actually one thing <laughs> which is then this thing not listed then you're in not in luck but i was listed so and this little button don't forget about that one so if you want to go for GNOME, GNOME Classic, GNOME on Xorg, i3, installed it as well here. And I'm gonna change one up. And there we have it. We have now back the standard Arch merged GNOME. But this time with um, GDM. So it's not that difficult really, with two lines and you have another way of meet and greet probably <laughs> so you can say something like that so this is what you get when you log in then all right enjoy well maybe maybe <laughs> i wanted to stop the video but maybe you would say oh my god how do you get back to light dm let's finish that and then the circle is completely round again so arrow up if this is enabling GDM service, then probably this is going to enable LightDM service, right? Right you are. So it is again forcefully removed and forcefully and then he makes a new symlink. And when we, well, we need to reboot with the cons, I can't uh, log off. We need to restart to shut uh, to shut down and to reboot to see it. And then we have LightDM, but LightDM is standard auto login. Yes, <laughs> standard auto login. So log out, <laughs> and this is LightDM. So, like I said, I never use any of my. Uh, intros here this login manager thing since i always log in on any desktop all right anyway enjoy <laughs>